Hello everyone, and welcome back to Adam's Legacy, where we are carrying on right where we left off last time with our little tropical pool of swimming sharks that we have now had on this beautiful jungle island as Adam's descendants continue to try to find their way through this world and make the most of whatever resources we can find here before continuing on and searching out their ancestral island somewhere to the north. So we just had a bunch of babies, so we don't need to worry about, even though the bones of our ancestors are currently lying on the ground here, we don't need to worry about going extinct while we try to work on having enough nichelings to be able to carry on this legacy, as long as we can have enough food. So now that all of these little ones are born, especially even on the bones of their parents, sorry, Vion with the belief that they have developed that those bones will go forth to be collected by the great crabbits of the abyss, the gigantic crabs who roam along the under like understory of the water down here, deep where no one else can see, and whose bones are made out of the bones that or whose shells are made out of the bones of their ancestors, carrying on the memories and making the ocean a safe place, or at least a abundant place to live, making the waterways and the currents go forth so that they could swim along the currents from land to land, and helping to summon up the fish from deep in the abyss so that they'll have food to eat if they are fast enough to catch it. So I love that we're starting to really build up a really cool new set of lore with this tribe, and I really can't wait to see where it goes. But we also need to feed ourselves, and unfortunately there's just not enough fish to go around for that just yet. Unless I can catch this one. Do we have four fishing on Kurumi? We have two fishing here, four here. So if I can get Lee over here in time, boom! Nice! All right, so Lee is a fantastic fisher and just managed to get all of those fish. But we have fish we're trying to catch. We also have a few of our nichelings up on to the land, which is a very unusual place for them to be, so that we can try to gather up some nuts, some bunnels, some of these delicious smelling fruits. And then we're going to continue to push our way up to the north side of the island, so at least while we are collecting, we are also making sure that we're close to the port in case we need to leave except with our little river crew because we do have a group whose job it's going to be to explore along the river way over here so i'm gonna have them start pushing their way to the north Rhea is included in that and she's actually able to collect a whole lot of these wonderful wonderful berries i'll have her clear a spot there and then i think that mal mal has to like go around this fish there we go yeah mal can go up there we are, and do a little exploring along this river. And I might have him, we'll have him clear this so we know where the berry bush is. And then Zofia and some of the other nichelings, we'll have them come, who can't swim because we have two babies, Zofia and her brother Rao, uh, both of whom are really sickly. I don't think they're gonna do well. Oh, oh my gosh, that could have ended very badly. I don't think they're going to survive very long unless we stumble upon a healing fruit, but we'll try to take care of them. All right, and then little Snot, Snot, ugh. okay, we'll try to get Snot up the river too. And then Libby is also going up the river with collecting and cracking. She doesn't really have any other traits, so we'll have her go up river. And this is gonna be our little river crew right here. So we've got six nichelings here. And then let's see, anybody else down here? Brielli, you can go. Vian, you can keep going. Kel and Mia. I think I'll have this group. Mia, do I want you to stay back here? I kind of feel like Mia wants to settle over here because she was born amongst the bones. And I sort of get this feeling that Mia wants to stay on this side, home and H immunity, to be able to like gather the fruit from over here. But if that happened, the island would be so far apart, she would never be able to see her family again. So maybe I'll have her come over here. This is a better place. So I think Mia wants to stay on the side of the island with the bones of the ancestors to some degree. But we'll have to figure out what that means for her. All right, and Brielle, you can move one more time. So I'm gonna have you move Kel's leech off and Kel, I'll have you grab a couple of those fish. So we have a little, little group who needs to catch up back there. We have a group over here 
decent on fishing, can't do any fishing with Font, who will continue to explore on this side. There we go. Prime, can you see anything? You can. Here, come over here because you've got a leech. There we go. And then Quinn. Oh, Quinn, you've been bleached. All right, you come down here. And then we'll go ahead and remove that and cure your bleeding so that nothing nibbles you. And then Quinn, you carry on this direction. Getting to the other side is gonna be quite tricky, I think. All right, meanwhile, I'm gonna have Leo come over here and gather up what she can. And Plasma, I'm gonna have him, oh, I thought he could destroy this bush. He cannot, curses. All right, Mar's gonna stay behind though, because he's getting kind of old for this. And then I'll grab that nut. We'll grab that fruit. And then I can get, I'll start working she back to the ocean because now that she has gathered up all of the stinky fruit from this tree, we'll move on. All right, meanwhile, Willow, I'll have Willow stay here. She's only got a couple days left to live, so I'll let her gather up what she can. And then Alix, you're gonna be part of the swimming crew who is trying to get to the other side of the island. Thankfully, they can really move it once we start convincing everybody to get a move on here. There we go. And we'll get Kar on this side. We'll have Kurumi come on this side. Kurumi, I don't think we ever renamed you, but that's okay. Your name's pretty cool. All right, is that everybody? That's everybody. Wow, we actually don't have any babies being born for like one whole day. All right, unfortunately, a sickness has spread somewhere. Zofia, you are now sick, I think? We'll have to figure out like where that sickness came from in just a minute. But let's see, all right. Itty bitty babies, eat up. Don't waste food if you have the opportunity to eat and keep moving. Kel, go ahead and keep moving. And we'll have Vian come and Brielli. All right, grab that. Brielli, you can do a little fishing too. All right, so we're getting some resources. I think spreading our nichelings out to try to get access to more resources seems to be helping quite a bit. I'm gonna have Mal come over here and he can actually get a good look at what's available over here. And then I'm gonna have Zofia, let's see, Rao, do you have any traits we'd wanna pass on? You do have recessive platypus beak. And you have a chance of healthy children with your sister of all things. They're not gonna live very long, but I don't want them to pass on spiky body uh, because that I feel like that would be more trouble than it's worth for sure. So I'm gonna have her wiggle her way up the river too. And we'll just try to get them kind of on this side to see if they can investigate those trees. All right, snot, don't get anyone sick, please. Can you fish? Yes, but not these fish, unfortunately. Snot, well, Zofia's already sick, so I guess that's that. And then I'm gonna get Rio. Curses, all right. That's what I get for sending a whole sickly group together. Now I'm just like throwing the whole, the whole group in at the wrong time. And they're probably all gonna get sick from one another, but at least I was trying. All right, meanwhile, Mar, you go ahead, get comfy. Oh, Mar, you found another spot where we could maybe do some calling, cool. Uh, let's grab something to eat and then we'll start working our way back into the water. Grab something to eat, and then we'll start working our way into the water. Ditto here, I hope I don't get, I hope I don't have a tree land on me. And then, yes, okay, so we've got a really powerful fisher, I know we do, with Spindle. So he can do the fishing that we need to catch those big old fish. Nice! The Razorina is ours, yes! All right, Razorina's ours there. And then Kurumi can go ahead and do a little bit of hunting there. Does anybody here have four hunting or four fishing? Yes, Connor can also catch that Razorina, sweet. The Razorinas actually deliver a lot of food if you're able to like reach them, that's fantastic. And then there's some fish over here, yes. All right, maybe this isn't quite as desperately hard as I thought it would be to get fish. You do want to make sure you leave some of your fish population every time you have fish behind though, because they will, the, the swarm, if it has, the school, pardon me, if it has fish will actually get more fish over time. So you don't want to 
overfish your little swarm, which I think is such a cool detail. All right, Lup, we'll have you come along to you as far as you can go. Spindle, come on. Let's see, who do we have over here? Alix, come on. Sooner we can get you guys all somewhere where everybody can gather up more food, the better. All right, let's see, can't do anything there. Keep moving. Oh, lots of fish over here, sweet. All right, that'll be very useful. And then we'll have a willow. Oh, it's her final day. I'm gonna let her just get comfy under this tree. And I'll have Mar shake the tree. And I think that's everybody. All right, and now we're going to go ahead and say goodbye to Willow, who has done her best to leave behind what knowledge she can to encourage all of the young nichelings to be able to learn what resources they could gather from the shores. And they are in turn impressing her with what resources they can gather from the sea. So after a very long life lived and many, many children left behind in these tropical waters, let's let Willow have her rest and join the Krabbits of the Deep Abyss. There we go. Oh, good! And now we've got a lot of food to gather up from any of the good food resources. Uh, so I think... She... I need to get you in the water, my dear. It's just the truth of the matter. Uh, there is a leech I need to get there. No new fish spawned around here. So let's see. Do I want to do some good fishing? Let's have... Lup. Oh, there's a big fish. All right, can I have spin Lee can do four fishing. Let's see. Can't do any fishing with Quinn. Can do two fishing with Prime. I'll have him come over and grab a couple from there. And then Font can heal him up. Car. Get that Razorina, yes! So many fish, and now we have collected quite a few. I am so impressed by that. Also, I heard where is the bunnel? It's over here! It ate, like, everything! <laughs> oh my gosh. Alright, we'll have to watch out for those bunnels. Uh, Rhea, come on over. And you can gather a lot, so I'm gonna have Rhea start working her way carefully towards that stinky fruit tree. And then Mal, I'm gonna have him do the same. Oh good, there's a healing fruit back here! That would be quite lovely if I could just get, like, Zofia and the others over there. She needs to clear the way, and her brother can come over. I need him not to get too close to her. And Sna can do two fishing, and she can do a little bit of collecting. I'm gonna have Sna maybe just do a little exploring and clearing out of the ground. And Libby, Libby, I'm actually gonna have you pivot, and I'm gonna have Libby stay by this spot over here with all of the uh, resources that this area has. Because I feel like Libby does want to stay uh, kind of like M Mia in this area and maybe, oh look, see there's a healing plant right here. And maybe just remember their past. All right, Kel, come on. Y'all have a long way to swim to catch up with everybody else. That again is one of the big reasons I want to make sure that all of our our nichelings kind of stay to one side, and then we go ahead and start doing the exploring. Like, we're almost there, actually, to make, like, this little bay our home. And then we'll be really close to where we need to go. All right. That being said, I want- oh, I wanted that little shell, but I couldn't get it. All right, Alix, keep going. And we've got Lup, who can do some fishing. Nice. That's not too bad. All right, Kurumi, you can do two fish and then leave that swarm or that school to grow. Alix, I'll have you come over here. And then let's see what we can do over on this side. I'll have Mar. <gasps> Ooh, Mar. A and H immunity. G and star immunity. Wonderful. Libby, in her final moments of being on this side, uh, or her, she'll live on this side, but Mar, in his final moments, knowing that the end is soon, is over here with Libby. And we're going to have her possibly pass on ram horns so we can get some, some horns going on on these kids if possible. Probably not, but at least we're going to try. And... A better tail? No, definitely like either nimble fingers or claw. Let's do claw. 
or nimble fingers because I think she has runner's leg, double runner's leg. And runner's leg is just not anybody's friend, in my opinion. Sure, it adds stealth and can do a little collecting, but we need a bit more than that. So we're going to have Mar leave behind his wisdom and a little of his love to Libby, who now can start a little family to gather up all of the resources that are over here. Nice. Also, she, into the water you go, my dear. Carrying on with everybody else. Chi, we'll have you move too. We've almost made it to the north side. That's definitely worth celebrating with as much effort as it takes to get over there. All right, let's keep swimming. There, and then we can kind of settle either around this little bay area or around this side. There's a nest over here, not that we would really need it, uh, but we might be able to gather a lot of food from these spots, so we'll have to see. Especially if it rains as much as the tropical area seems to, so that that'll regenerate. And Svindle, I know you want to do some deep hunting, my friend. Because you are definitely a fish aficionado. Alright. Meanwhile, we're going to have plasma. Leo can gather chew. She's going to gather food from there. Plasma can gather one at a time. I think he's- oh hey! He's better off clearing this area so that we can see what's around this spot. Alright, everybody taken care of? Everybody is taken care of! Alright! Libby is now carrying the last child of the previous generation. The previous generation's offspring, at least. From Mar. Mar, thank you for contributing to rushing to this island and giving us a whole new fantastic story to watch unfold as we spread across this tropical land. And I feel it would take us much longer to be able to start exploring it if we couldn't just swim our way to the other side. So I'm really proud about that. Let's go ahead and allow him his final goodbyes. Rest in peace, Mar! Oh my goodness, and now he is gone too and has left behind one last child to hopefully be remembered by. But all right, guys, so we have a little trailing school trying to catch up to everyone else. We have a lot of Razorina uh, in the creeks, which would be really useful. Ooh, speaking of Razorina, Spindle, get it! Um, and we also managed to get plucked up by, uh, Rao. Yeah, managed to get plucked up by the unexpected dangers of the jungle again. That's fine. Ned's not fine. Rao's had a hard life. Oh dear. All right. Okay. We'll try to do something about that next time. <laughs> but thank you guys so much for joining me. If you could, do please leave a like for poor Rao. He's had a rough go of it. And if you would like to join us on this and literally thousands more adventures, do please consider subscribing. But most importantly, my friends, oh dear, there's a bunch of leeches coming. Stay curious. And I'll see you guys next time. Bye-bye.